Hello, today's workout session is for you if you want that athletic look. Now your workout sessions don't have to be long, but they have to be really efficient. So today we're going to be doing an upper body as well as a core workout session. That's why we're going to be training the arms, the triceps, but also the outer part as well as the inner part of the pecs. Now for the core, we really want to target the upper part as well as the lower part but also the deeper abdominal muscles. Now it's really important to target the deeper abdominal muscles. If you don't have them strong, it can cause that anterior pelvic tilt that causes a lot of issues for many of us in our daily life. Also to create that athletic look, we want to use some explosive exercises. Now today's workout session is for you, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or at an advanced level. Now the only criteria I have for you today is that if you can do less than 10 push-ups, do the beginner level, which means that you will see a clock under here. So do 20 seconds of working out and 40 seconds of rest. Now, if you can do more than 10 push-ups, do the intermediate level, which means that you are doing 25 seconds of working out and 35 seconds of rest. Finally, if you are at the advanced level with more than 20 push-ups, do 30 seconds of working out and 30 seconds of rest. This really emphasizes my training philosophy, which is quality before quantity. You always want to do an intense workout session, but you don't want to sacrifice great form. This way, we are really customizing the training session for your level. All right, let's go. So let's start with the upper body exercises and the wide push-ups for the outer part of the pecs. Oh, can you grab this? Let's go. Breathe in and out. Let's go. Helps to keep the feet open. Remember to breathe. That's the first exercise with the wide push ups. We targeted the outer part of the pecs. And next we do the narrow push-ups, which will target more the triceps and the inner part of the pecs. Also, I wanna help you in your training. So comment below how the session went. This way you also support the channel. Okay, you ready? Let's go for next exercise. Remember to breathe, in and out. Helps to keep the feet open. Okay. So next we have the archer push-ups, which will be really targeting the triceps. And if you can't do that, you can do diamond push-ups. And I will show you the variation for that as well. Few more seconds of rest. Let's go, let's go all day. So this is the archer push-up. If you can't do that, diamond push-ups. Or the archer push-ups. Both target the, the triceps really well. Then we take a little bit of rest and we go for the final upper body exercise. Take deep breaths because it's really important to recover well in between the exercises and proper breath work is part of that. Let's go for the next exercise, the 
wide to narrow push-ups. Keep the explosivity. Breathe. Push through. I know it's hard. Breathe. Breathe. Yeah, starting to feel it. Next we have the core workout. We're gonna be starting with the flutter kicks, targeting the lower part of the core. Take some breaths and get ready. Okay. Keep hands below your glutes. Really use shallow breathing. This will help you to keep everything tight. Nice, nice work. And then after this, we target the upper part of the core. Take some breaths and let's go. We only have a few more exercises for this lap. So keep the tension and let's go. Next we have the reach ups. Let's go. Again, shallow breathing. Let's push through. Push to the end. All day. <laughs> Two more exercises for this lap. So next exercise will really help you with that anterior pelvic tilt, really making the deep abdominal muscles strong and also the full core. So we have the hollow body hold. In this one, you really want to make sure that you have your lower back tightly to the ground. Also, don't allow your scapulas to go down. Keep them up. If this feels too heavy, you can always tuck in your knees and keep your hands straight up. But try to keep it really straight. Full hollow body hold. Also make sure you do this workout two more laps and you can replay this video as many times as you'd like to so you can get the two more additional laps. As you can see from the secondary angles, I also did the two more additional laps. So no cheating here, go all in. Let's go. Do the V-sit, the hollow body hold. We go down, V-sit hold and then down to hollow body. Full core, the six pack, as well as the deep abdominal muscles. This is one of my favorites. If you can't do this, you can do jack knives. But try to do the V-sit to hollow body hold. Haha, <laughs> that's it, full lap. And you can replay this and do the two more additional laps. And yeah, remember to smash the like button. Let us know below in the comment section how it went. And yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.